And they're still counting votes on the national side as well as we take a live look at Washington, D.C. this afternoon. We're still waiting to learn which party will control both the House and the Senate. Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill with the very latest. Counting the remaining ballots in Nevada could last into next week as the Silver State's razor thin Senate race is still a toss up. Most of those votes are coming in from the Las Vegas area. Mail can come through until this Saturday, as long as it's postmarked by November 8th. And we will continue to pick up uh, mail on a daily basis. Elections officials in Arizona are also still processing results. The Democratic incumbent is leading in that race, but it's still too early to call. Hello, hello. In Georgia, Republican Senate candidate Herschel Walker has a rally scheduled for this evening. He and Democratic incumbent Raphael Warnock are campaigning once again ahead of their December 6th runoff election. The balance of power in the U.S. Senate is still unknown. Control of the U.S. House leans Republican, but it's much closer than predicted, with winners in some battleground districts still undetermined. Regardless of what the final tally in these elections show, and there's still some counting going on, I'm prepared to work with my Republican colleagues. President Biden also told reporters Wednesday he intends to run in 2024. I don't feel in any, any hurry one way or another. What, to, to, to make that judgment, what today, tomorrow, whenever, you know, no matter what the, 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 my predecessor does. Former President Trump has hinted at an announcement next week, but allies say they're urging him to postpone it until after the Georgia Senate runoff. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Sources close to former President Trump tell CBS News that he is furious over the election results, with a number of candidates he backed in big races projected to lose or having already lost. Some say he blames his wife Melania for convincing him to back Dr. Oz for Senate in Pennsylvania. But Trump has since denied those claims on his Truth social media site.